welcome back to Haley's Closet. Today I'm going to show you some Rebecca Minkoff bags that I got on sale and I feel like I got a really good deal and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, let you know that you can find these bags at lower than retail price for sure. You just have to be watchful of the website, um, watch for sales, um, scout around a little bit and you can find great bags at a great price. So. Um, I guess we'll start out with the stuff that I ordered online. I ordered um, two bags online and I actually got a third one for free, which was awesome. So she was having a promotion on her website. I think it was if you spent $250, you got a free clutch. So the first bag I got, uh, I have her in her little dust bag here, um, is a Mini Mac. This is the color that I ordered. It's a gorgeous blue. I love, love, love this blue. Um, the strap is inside. I'm just going to keep it in there for right now but it has the white and black um, lining and um, I'll show you some mod shots as well so you'll see the full um, the full bag with the strap um, but I already own this in a pink color and I love this bag and I figured um, you know at that I think it was $130 it was on sale for and they're usually $195 so I felt like it was a good deal especially since I was getting the free bag as well um, and I've been really wanting a pop of blue bag and I just um, I didn't feel like investing a ton of money in a like high-end designer bag there was an Alexander Wang one that I was eyeing but I was just like no you don't need that you can get this at a good price and you already love this style so why not? Okay, and then this next bag um, is actually a clutch. And this is what it looks like. Um, it's fairly large. I'd say it's about 12 inches across, maybe even 12 and a half. Um, but this is the Love Clutch. And uh, this also comes with a strap. So it has the twist lock, kind of like a Chanel bag, but it, it goes like this. Um, and then it has that same interior. And it just has a silver strap and I will show you what that looks like in the mod shots as well so this bag has um, I don't think you're gonna be able to see on camera but it has some card slots down in there and then it also has a side pocket and a zippered pocket it has one two three four eight card slots so that's really no nope, excuse me six six card slots um, but that's more than enough I probably wouldn't use them to be honest but they're there if you want them and this features like a perforated leather look. Usually it has a quilted leather, like a Chanel bag. I know, kind of copying it, but what can you do? Um, but this has the perforated, which I liked because it was a little bit more edgy. And then what I really like about this clutch is that it has a back pocket right here with the magnetic closure. I really like that for um, your phone or something that you're going to be getting quite frequently. You don't have to open the whole bag. Um, and yeah, I really like this. Uh, I think I got this one for, I want to say 180 something. It was originally 295. So yeah, I really like this bag. Um, I don't have a black clutch with silver hardware. I have my Eva clutch, but that has gold hardware and sometimes I'm wearing all black and I want to wear a black clutch and I don't have that. I have my Balenciaga crossbody, but again, I wanted like a real handheld clutch. There. I got this bag for free. So they were doing a, um, like I said, a promotion. So if you spent $250, you got a clutch bag for free. I'm not sure if they gave out different colors. This was automatically added to my cart, um, but I don't have a purple bag. So, well, except my Balenciaga City bag, which I showed my what's in my bag. But I mean, I don't have a purple clutch or anything. So this is really cool. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use it for. It's nice. It's, it's real leather and it has um, the zipper with the tassel, which I like. And it's just black inside. It has some card slots. You're not gonna, probably not gonna be able to see that, but it has four card slots. So, like I said, I don't exactly know what I'm gonna use it for. You could use it as an iPad case or like a Kindle case. Or actually, you could put fit both of them in there. I'm probably gonna use it for traveling. I'm probably gonna put stuff in there. Haven't decided yet, but uh, cool bag. And I looked it up, and it retails for $125. And they have it on like Nordstrom's website and stuff like that. So it's not like it's just um, one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, it retails for $250 and you're getting it for 50. It's like, really? I mean, this is something they normally sell. So I was like, hey, whatever. I'm cool with it. For my next, um, purchase, I know it's a little ridiculous. I have, I got four Rebecca Minkoff bags in like the span of two weeks. I don't, why? I don't know. But it's how it worked. So 
whatever. Okay, so this bag, um, if you live in New York, you probably have heard of the Woodbury Premium Outlets. They are in Woodbury Premium Outlet Store. They have amazing shopping. I love going there. They have a Balenciaga outlet there. They have a Saint Laurent. They have um, Gucci, Burberry, like Meme and Marcus Last Call, Saks Off Fifth. So it's a great place. If you ever get the chance to go, do it. I went to Saks Off Fifth and I wasn't gonna get anything. I just wanted to look around at the bags because the last time I was in there, they had some really cool stuff. So I just kind of wanted to look and see what they had. But um, I saw this and I was like, what? This is the price? Okay, because this is a Rebecca Minkoff Mac bag. This is not the mini Mac. That's the smaller one. This is the larger size. And I'm not exactly sure of the color, um, but it's like a mushroom color. And I have no bags this color. So when I saw this, I was pretty pumped because um, there were a couple other Mac bags there. They had a blue and they had a red and they had a couple other ones, but they were all, I think, because I, I think this retails for $2.95 and their prices, um, their price was like $2.30. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna, I don't want it that bad, like that's still a lot. But this one for some reason was $1.39. And I was like, wait, this is a neutral color. This will go with a lot of stuff. $139 for something that retails for $2.95. That's pretty awesome. Um, but then I noticed on the back it had very tiny scuffs. Like you can't even tell just on these corners right here. One right down here and one up here. And I work in retail so I know how it goes. So I went up to the cashier and I was like, can you guys do anything about these scuffs? And she was like, you know, I can do an extra 10% off. It will be final sale. I was like, cool. I'll take it. I ended up paying $136 for this bag. And in my opinion, that's a really great deal for this bag. I looked on her website. She actually does have this exact same bag on sale. And I think that they have it on sale for $180 or something like that. So still a great deal. Um, so it's not like an off season color or anything. I don't really know. I don't know. It's a great color. And I'm super excited because like I said, I don't have um, a color like that I don't have a neutral bag this color and I've been wanting a Mac size because it's bigger and you can fit more in it. I haven't um, tried fitting stuff in it yet. I wanted to do this video first, but it is pretty sizable. There's the inside. It has a zippered pocket along this back part and it has two compartments right here that you can fit stuff into. So I don't know, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to let you know that, um, especially Rebecca Minkoff's, um, unless you are in love with the bag, you can probably get it later on for a lower price, um, especially on websites that offer, I just have like all this tissue paper around me. Especially on websites that offer discount codes like Bloomingdale's, Shopbop, um, sites like that, you can get Rebecca Minkoff's at a discounted price, so. If you're in the market for a Rebecca Minkoff bag, try that. And I also know some people have had luck um, at um, discount stores such as TJ Maxx and Mar Marshalls. Um, I never find anything good in those stores, so I honestly never go in. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick size comparison between the Mac and the Mini Mac. I realized I did not do that. I think I'm going to do a comparison video between what you can fit into a Mac and a Mini Mac. I think that would be helpful. Um, once I start using the Mac and become more familiar with it because this is the first one I've owned. I will definitely do a video for you guys. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to add this clip in. So, bye. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my Instagram. We'll have the link down below. Um, I will provide a link towards anything that I can find. Um, I know this bag was on her website, so I will link that one. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And until next time, I don't know where I was going with that. That was really, that was awkward. I'll see you guys later. Bye.